Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans and you're watching The Electric Singularity. Fantastic to have you here. Guys, would love for you to subscribe or to like the video, but only if you enjoy watching it. And of course, only subscribe if you want to. Now, Porsche Boxster. Porsche has been dragging their feet with the new Porsche all-electric Boxster. The reason they say is because batteries are too heavy for a lightweight sports car. Obviously, mate Remac would disagree with Porsche, but then again, Remac cars are not all that light, are they? So Porsche do have a good point. However, I don't see batteries dramatically losing weight anytime soon, but Porsche potentially could use other weight saving measures to lighten their cars, such as carbon fiber, like other manufacturers are doing, or Neo, who use about 97% aluminum in their vehicles to lighten them. Now, an all electric Porsche Boxster concept is set to preview the future of the sports car company insiders have recently revealed. According to Car and Driver, news of the 718 Boxster electric vehicle EV has come directly from Porsche executive board member for development, Michael Steiner. The battery powered Porsche Boxster is expected to pre preview a future production version of the convertible as well as its coupe sibling, the Cayman. This is good news. In March 2021, company boss Oliver Bloom confirmed electric Boxster and Cayman models were under consideration, but a final decision had yet to be made at that time. There is an opportunity that we will do the 718 electric, but we are still in a concept period where we haven't decided yet. To go electric now, we need future battery evolution, Bloom said at the time. We will wait a couple of months more before we decide which concept we will use. But I think there is a positive potential to do this, and when we do the 718 electric, it should be driven like a 911 and all the other sports cars. Car and driver suggests the electric 718 will eventually be sold alongside their petrol counterparts as with the forthcoming electric Macan. Exactly which electric platform will underpin the Boxster EV is not yet known. But Porsche has a habit of offering incredibly impressive performance, performance numbers from their cars, so from, in particular from their electric cars that is, so it's likely the zero emissions EV will outperform the petrol powered variants by a good margin in my opinion. Also, let's be honest, I think once there is an all-electric Porsche Boxster, people are not going to want the petrol-powered version. It's only powered by a four-cylinder turbo. It's not like it's an amazingly beautiful-sounding engine like that in the Porsche GT3. It just sounds like sort of like a, the engine in the WRX, for example, except maybe not even quite as good. So there's nothing in particular that's all that impressive about the current engines in the Boxster. Therefore, I think once Porsche have actually made this car, I think you'll find that there'll be very little demand for the Porsche, the Porsche petrol powered or gas powered version, and that all of a sudden Porsche will realize that people don't want ice powered sports cars anymore, even though the impression from the market is they still do. One of the companies I think that's really leading the way with changing our minds and our perception of electric cars, well, really is Porsche. There's Tesla as well, of course, and also Audi and Remac. With these guys making some incredibly impressive electric cars recently, I think people see electric as the future and are looking less and less at petrol-powered, gas-powered cars as something that they need to have, and probably looking at more and more at something that is kind of old technology. I would call it dinosaur tech. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if there are any of you out there who are diehard Porsche fans, kudos to you. Porsche is a great company, a great brand. And isn't this some really great news that Porsche are not only electrifying the Macan, but also their sports cars, or at least looking at how they can do that right now. Thanks for watching. Re remember to subscribe, and I really appreciate your support. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.